Thank you, Dave. Well, the state of California is open again for all leisure travel, and California also has one of the country's highest vaccination rates. So you put those together if you want to do some traveling, our Bay Area backyard loaded with options. It definitely is. And our travel enthusiast, Dana Redman, joining us now with some inspiring ideas for an outdoor getaway to Mendocino. Dana, I have to say, I think you've been reading my text messages. <laughs> I was just planning a trip to Mendocino, but I had no idea where to begin. So I'm really glad you're here this morning. Dana, at your service. I've got you covered. I've got you covered. Isn't that great? Well, you know, summer, summer is prime season for road trips in California. And we're so lucky in the Bay Area because we have so many options. Today, Today, let's focus on Mendocino and give you some ideas. First off, let's get going to the Anderson Valley. Mm. Um, you know, a couple Beautiful. hours from San Francisco, it's known for wine. I want you to take time to see the Redwoods. This is Hendy Woods State Park, home to about five miles of, I'd say, easy to moderate trails, but they're lined with trees that in some cases, more than 300 feet tall, mm. a thousand years old. Wow. A moment to take pause. <laughs> just, just beautiful scenery. Um, essentially divided into two groves. There's the 80 acre Big Hendy, which tends to be the most popular. That's what you are seeing. And then the smaller 20 acre Little Hendy area. Mm -hmm. It's just a great outdoor spot for all ages, all fitness levels. And if you're on your way to the coast, it's a great stop to just get out and stretch your legs, having been in the car for some time. You don't have to have a lot of time here. If you've got an hour, you'll leave with a smile on your face. If you've got longer, even better. But you know, chances are, you'll do some wandering. Maybe you won't see another person. <laughs> There's something wow. to be said for that too. There's a lot to be said for that. You're right, Dana. <laughs> There's like a ton to be said for that. But like, you know, what? this is a great stopping point. If you're headed toward the coast, you stretch your legs, but you're excited about getting to the po coast and you should be. It's beautiful. And truthfully, when you're talking about the Mendocino County coastline, it's mm. hard to go long, wrong. More than 90 miles of coastline. This is Russian Gulch State Park, 15 miles of trail. Today, we're just focused on this one mile stretch called Headlands Trail. Postcard worthy scenery. Sure um, is. That's a sinkhole called Devil's Slide that you will find along your way. It was created when an ocean tunnel collapsed. This is a nice trail to wander. Uh -huh. This is the picnic area. Wow. Pack a picnic, ha <laughs> exactly. Linger longer is the moral to the story. Mm. Pack a picnic, bring some snacks. It's a nice place to, to catch your breath. And it's only about a mile. We're not talking about a strenuous workout. We're talking for a way to get those postcard worthy views. And I would say they qualify. <laughs> and I would say so too. And Dana, you, you got some beautiful weather when you were there as well, because the coast, as you well know, could be uh, clouded in and foggy quite a bit. It, it absolutely can. So you never quite know what your day is going to be like. But but the flip to that that I would say is that on foggy days, this coastline also takes on kind of that magical, mystical feel. Mm. So regardless of what your weather is, you, I think you're gonna you're gonna enjoy it. Pack layers, dress in layers. It's better to have them and be able to take them off than not. Yeah. <laughs> Great tip. Yes. Talk to us Absolutely. about these botanical gardens because I I love a good you know, uh, flowers, you know, anything floral is going to be beautiful. Then you will love the Mendocino Coast Botanical Gardens. One of those stops, an explosion of color. Not that the coast is not beautiful already, but this mm. just brings it even more so. Um, 47 acres strong. There, are, There's a trail system here as well, about four miles. If you want to do more hiking, yeah. you'll get to the ocean. One of my favorite spots, and there are so many, so don't think that that's all there is to it, the Dahlia Garden. Oh. 400 plants. It's like it's like a growing rainbow, 150 oh. varieties starting to bloom right about now, peaking probably more August, August, September, depending on Mother Nature, truthfully. Mm -hmm. um, but just absolutely a stunning place, again, to wander, to kind of catch your breath, enjoy some quiet while you're there. The only thing you need to know right now about the Mendocino Coast Botanical Gardens is they're operating on a timed entry system, but it's very simple. Get online, reserve your tickets. I got, on light, I got online last night to, ch to check, and there were still tickets available for today. So it's uh, not something you need to plan out weeks in advance. It's uh, a very simple process. And again, Dana, you talk about uh, being secluded. There, are, I don't see anyone in the video <laughs> that you're shooting. You've got the whole garden to yourself. 
You know, it's, there, sometimes you get really lucky, yeah. without doubt, but it seems in Mendocino you get lucky more often than you huh. don't. And okay. that's just a fantastic thing to look forward to. Um, another favorite spot, and this is a place that even I've found, even if you've never been, people have heard of, the Skunk Train. Oh, yeah. The Skunk yeah. Train. It's been chugging through Mendocino County since the late 1800s. It runs on some of the first tracks ever put into place by the California Western Railroad. Mm -hmm. So the history here is incredible. You can choose between a 75 minute ride and a longer two hour ride. But for more than 100 years, it was the only way to kind of get in and explore in these beautiful sections of Mendocino County. Your legs get a break after all of that walking. Um, but now there's a new way to explore these tracks that I think is really, really unique. Uh -huh. Rail bikes. Uh, and if you've huh. never oh, been on a rail bike, look, it, exactly, wow. look at that. And it is, it is as much fun as How? it looks. Now, wow. same tracks that the train runs on, yeah. but obviously running when the train is not on yes. the tracks. <laughs> there's a guide that takes you out, but you really get to go at your own pace. A slight grade, uh -huh. but you're chugging along. It's doable for anyone. And if you don't believe me, that's okay because there's this handy dandy little button that if you run out of steam, oh. just give it a little push and the electric assist oh, kicks I right love in. It. This is the Fantastic. best thing. I had heard of the skunk train, but had not heard about these rail bikes. What an awesome way to see things. And that is absolutely it. And, and the rail bikes, the rail bikes are relatively new. Um, and again, you are out with a guide, but there's so much room. Everybody kind of sets their own pace. Yeah. You go along. Um, if you have a dog that you want to bring with you, you can actually attach a crate to the back of the oh, rail geez. bike, and your dog can come wow. with you. They think of everything. And again, everything. And again, a great option for traveling families, for all fitness levels, because if you have any concerns, which really, it is a pretty gentle ride, you've got that electric assist, electric assist and you can just hit that button and zoom along. A Dana, and a great way to just get some fresh air. Dana, great tips as always, and I wanna say goodbye. It, it's, it's been wonderful uh, working with you over the years and learning all about all these great places that you have uh, shown us, and, and, uh, and I'm going to enjoy sitting back in my, in my couch and watching you show us more places to go. <laughs> Marty, it has been a pleasure talking travel with you, but now that you're gonna have all of this free time, yeah. I'm coming to you for ideas. Oh, good idea. <laughs> okay, we'll trade ideas. Sounds good. Dana, thank you so much. Do a little duo. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>